You heard it from the MD. Well, let's talk further around this. And I'm being joined by no other person than the MD himself, Managing Director of the Nigerian Railway Corporation, Mr. Fidet Okiria. Thank you so much. Uh, it's good to have you on the program this afternoon. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to Nigeria. Yes. I wish them the best in 2024. All right. Uh, well, many of them would want to really get to the root of these issues around ticketing. Uh, now, uh, I know you've been doing your in-house work trying to, you know, get uh, to the root of this. But take us through what really the issues are. People are complaining that they are, they, it's very difficult for them to book the tickets online. Some now have to cut corners and all of that. So what's your position really around this before we get into some specifics uh, on this matter? Okay. Before we started, we, we went online to make announcements that because of the uh, situation that will not allow people to come to the station to get their ticket, they should get their ticket online. That fortunately for us, the three modernized I have online uh, solution that have been concession. So you can either get it on the web or on the on the app, and come with your identity card to the station to identify that you are the uh, uh, actual owner of the ticket you are using. But what is happening now is that some people that I to go on the net to occupy the space. Buy the ticket because it's free. You are not paying for it. They just buy the ticket. But what we are trying to do is to emphasize to ourselves that on no on no ground, I repeat, on no ground, should any travelers come to the station whose ticket is not matching the side the card. They are allowed to board. Based on what situation and what we had yesterday, we are deploying director now to the critical stations and senior staff to ensure that this instruction is obeyed. I think that is why we, uh, and those are already caught involved, whether our staff or not our staff, those with police, those with civil defense, will be prosecuted. Our staff knows it, uh, uh, at least, uh, I will not mess what that ends and, uh, their job with Nigerian Railway Corporation, but we will not wait to tarnish the, the reputation we are trying to build since the government has come in to ensure that we improve on our services and, the, and, and, and let Nigerians enjoy the benefit of, of good governance. So we, in, the, in this uh, last three days, uh, I will be personally involved in checking at the stations and my directors too. We go to the uh, various locations to ensure that our staff get into the, uh, the program. I, I know now people will be returning from their various homes I know when you leave your workplace and go on holidays, on your return, you may have, uh, your pocket will have gone down. And when the government has provided the, the, the opportunity for you to travel, with you, we should allow them to benefit and enjoy the benefit of what government is all about. So that's why I say we will try and ensure that anybody who tries to come to the station with either uh, second-hand ticket, that is a, a, a parental ticket, but online, I don't, I, we can't stop that because people can go online and get tickets whether they want to travel or not, that is free. But we ensure that they cannot, a uh, person who patronizes them will not use it to travel. Mm. Good way to start this discussion. But let me follow up and ask you, do you think uh, the e-ticketing thing is seamless or are there challenges or what can be done to make it better? Because I got calls after your appearance here, when it started, that some were trying to get in through the system, but some had to wait till even midnight before they could get access to it. You see, the issue is, uh, you know, when it is free, people who don't even want to travel want to access the tickets. And if they have the opportunity, they can just go, for instance, go to it, but then come back. Not that they have anything doing it. So that is the problem. But when it is uh, the commercial where you have to pay for it, and you have to think twice to go and start booking tickets online. But now that it's free, you are not paying anything. Uh, people instead of playing game, will be buying tickets. That's what we noticed. Now the only way to stop that is that 
even if they are not able to sell it, but they have the convenience, the people who really want to travel. So we are still put, uh, we put it together with our providers uh, to know how to cope such thing the next time we are uh, we are providing Nigeria uh, uh, free trade ride. It's a good experience that we are witnessing this, but we have a way to go over it so that people don't just go online and start buying tickets, whether they want to travel or not. People, I think people are doing that for fun. That's what we cover. Can we get the... Uh... However, we have also... Uh, people, over 140,000 people have benefited so okay. far. Okay, now, now you, you got me there. That was my question. How many people have benefited from this gesture of government? Uh, as had on the uh, 1st of January, 149,989 persons have benefited for the free trade ride from our record. Hmm. I will repeat that's 140,989 persons. Till, First of January. So we'll update that as we go along. Now, this has been extended to January 7th, according to the federal government. We get that yesterday. So what more, what are we putting on the ground to make sure that it gets at least more seamless so that Nigerians can enjoy this uh, free ride as instituted by government? We are, we are uh, with my director. We are putting it together, and as I all right, there. Uh, we to check uh, the ticket secretary. It's, it, it's not because it's open to every Nigerian. To go online and get tickets. Not necessary. You don't necessarily need to be a railway staff for anybody to get the ticket. The the ticket is a solution provided by concessionaires. So it's online, and it's on a, 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 a Play Store or Apple Store. So if you download, you can have access to the ticket and buy a ticket. So, you know, it is free. You are not paying for it. So somebody who may not want to travel may get the ticket. But, and try to come to the station. That's why we discovered they come to the station to, to, to try and sell it to those people that are really ready to travel. But the, we have uh, informed the policemen of what is happening. And uh, there are more people that are also going to be in the team going to the various stations. We know our pattern of movement. People will be returning to Abuja now. People will be returning to Lagos. And uh, people will be returning uh, back to Lagos. So we are going to concentrate to ensure that people have seamless boarding. And the people who really uh, uh, got the ticket are the people boarding, not people who got it secondhand. That is the only way to stop this. There is no other way we can go about stopping this. Preventing people who are using, uh, uh, what do you call it now, bought tickets from other people that we are not re really to travel. If they may be ready to travel since they have no many footing to go and do. They can decide to give out the ticket. This is a, a, a predicament that we find ourselves, but we will we, 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 we work hard to ensure that uh, the average Nigerians that is made for uh, uh, get, the, get the reward. Indeed, uh, because many will say when government come up with initiatives like this, sometimes we as Nigerians uh, tend to make it very difficult for government to achieve its aims and objectives. And I, I want to ask again around that circle, that how, do, how will somebody get on the train without a ticket? <laughs> and if that happens, what's the penalty? Bridge it. But it's duty of our staff to profile that person, to ensure the ID card the person is providing uh, tally with the uh, uh, at least with the name and picture on the ID card. I was at the station yesterday to monitor. You can from my voice, you can hear the, the cracking on it. And we discovered that some people just okay, even to ask them what's your name, the name will be different from what is on the ticket. 
I will turn them back. The police uh, had some back. The civil defense had some back. So I think that would have sent some signals to, to those people who, who, who engage in uh, searching. And even those that are making noise that it's uh, at the, like those one your people cross, we find out that most of them are even ticket racket here. Yeah. Because yes, that very day I uh, was at the station and the senior uh, civil defense staff were also at the station. They have to find a way to create uh, and make, uh, uh, to pretend that uh, uh, they are trying to board the train, whereas they were mostly there to racket the, the ticket that they got uh, overnight and come to the station to get a possible uh, uh, pat patronage. patronage. So I was that session this morning. I will be there this evening. I'm as a director of the and the various district manager have to be at their various posts to ensure Good. that they monitor the, 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 the station. Good. I, I think enforcement, monitoring, uh, really remains very key at this time. 2024 is here. Uh, like you said, it's a new year. What are we uh, expecting? What more innovations? What more uh, developments are we expecting from the Nigerian Railway Corporation? We intend to improve on our service. We intend to still keep the timeliness of the service. And uh, as I said earlier, we're trying to include, uh, increase the number of trains we run. Uh, maybe where we are doing for maybe move to six uh, before the end of first quarter. And uh, there are some other areas like Patu State, um, uh, Apple Cashford, uh, Apple service will come up in the first quarter. And uh, God be on our side of the uh, Lagos to Kano narrow gauge with uh, commence running it. We concentrate on freight on that so that uh, uh, the, 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 the revenue can go up. Because uh, if uh, passenger trade is a social service and it's only when we move uh, freight, we can really say we can uh, be able to meet the cost of our operation. So we tend to uh, as of today, if not that some people went back to analyze uh, some area between Moko and Bokani, uh, would have moved some uh, rolling stock for repairs to Lagos so that uh, we market and get a container movement to Kano. We hope within this month, the trial runs will start because we are able to secure and pay money to Vigilante to help us uh, uh, protect between Mina and Kaduna where the, 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 the banditry and the, uh, vandalization is so, so high. We hope we'll be able to come back on the narrow bridge from Lagos to Kano. As I said, Port Harcourt to Abba will come on, and uh, um, uh, Plateau Mass Transit will also come on. Hmm. And we're also looking forward to Maduguri. We are discussing with the government in Maduguri and also in Kaduna. Because we told them uh, uh, federal government cannot do it alone. They have to support by providing the, the, the operational means to enable a run because uh, we cannot uh, talk about breaking even for operation. But we must provide for the people to, to have uh, a state of mind and peace and the means of movement, which will uh, include the uh, crazy commercial uh, activities on this state. Thank you. Mm. Finally, uh, MD. Before I, 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 I let you go, uh, looking forward, uh, this movement of petroleum products, because that's my discussion next. I asked you this question too earlier. How soon do we expect that we'll get those tankers, at least off our roads, to a level? How soon? So we are talking to the, the people who are uh, uh, supplying petrol. Our first target is to get the petroleum movement up to Shobo, because that's how, where we have somebody we are discussing with. And we are uh, quite now nice trying to re uh, rehabilitate and ensure that the uh, 40 tank wagons we have are fit for movement. And uh, the person we are discussing with is also monitoring to follow it up. So we hope uh, if within the first part, we'll be able to start moving petroleum products at least up to Shobo. Uh, we also have some discussion with the uh, uh, Niger State on movement of petroleum products. But that in that one has uh, not slowed, slowed down. But the person, the prior person who has a time for who want to move to Shobo, I think is serious and we cooperate with him to ensure we're able to move the petroleum products from Lagos uh, 
at Ojobo. So they can from Ojobo, they can use the road. I think that would be a good start. I must thank you so much, uh, Mr. Fidet Okihia. I must thank you, uh, Managing Director, Nigerian Railway Corporation, for your time. Always responding to us when we call on you. We appreciate that. Do enjoy the rest of your day and your week. Thank you. Thank you, and God bless you. All right. Uh, well, coming up on the show.